The Peabody Museum's mission focuses on collecting, preserving, and interpreting. And the interpreting piece of the museum's mission in uh, a, a world informed by NAGPRA focuses now on understanding the multiple perspectives on collections, uh, understanding links between past and present peoples, and engaging with descendant communities who may have an interest in interpreting those collections and partnering with the museum on mutually informing goals. NAGPRA has in many cases initiated conversations beyond NAGPRA regarding collections that excite both um, indigenous consultants and uh, museum um, curators to engage in further studies together. An example of that is a recent project um, between the Peabody Museum and the Aleutic Museum of Kodiak, Alaska. Um, a Save America's Treasures grant supported a collaborative exploration of historic Alaska kayaks and collections associated with kayaks, such as paddles, kayak models, and um, things like uh, gear uh, worn to be waterproof, often made from materials, mammal materials, such as um, intestine. The Save America's Treasures grant that enabled the collaborative conservation of the kayaks and the related collections. Two college courses took place alongside the project by which students learned and participated with the consultants, museum conservators, and museum curators in contributing to the knowledge. The kayak, which was central to the collaboration, um, has since been made available to the Alutic Museum and is on display there in Kodiak for the long term, embodying the goal of increasing access um, in the best possible way. An exciting new contribution of the collaboration resulted in utilizing a technique um, called MALDI or peptide mass fingerprinting, which allows the identification of mammalian species utilized in cultural items. For, for the community, it would be very, very interesting for us to learn about the DNA of the hair, DNA of the skin, DNA of, of, of any of the um, sinew fibers, so that we can actually learn a little bit more whether or not the, the sinew was porpoise, whale, seal, sea lion, bear, um, or caribou, um, and what kind of skins was it? Was it a female skin, sea lion skin, or was it a, a male sea lion skin that was split in half? Um, you know, so there's, there's many different things about what we can learn from doing such analysis, especially um, when we are trying to understand what materials were really used and what materials weren't used. Just the use of science for learning, I think, is going to be really, really important. And for me, this is a wonderful learning and teaching opportunity for uh, academics with indigenous groups. It's about, let's learn about what was there. You know, so it becomes a win-win. The intestine parka on display was comprised of seal, intestine and was stitched together with canine sinew. We are looking here at a gut skin parka, uh, which is in exquisite shape. Um, the, the gut skin looks like it might be seal, um, although it hasn't been determined yet, but from looking at other clothing objects, it's very similar in its width um, to seal intestine. Um, along with um, a, an array of human hair, um, which is very possible. It's very long, 
and um, like it would be a grandmother's hair or an adult um, woman's hair who may have made the parka. This particular parka looks as if it would be a festive parka because of the intricate embroidery. It is absolutely exquisite and the craftsmanship and the embellishments are just phenomenal. I, I am just new at looking at all of these types of things in museums and um, had the privilege to travel to, to many places and, and I will say that the care that these items have been given here is extraordinary. Um, and, and they too are learning about the importance of these items and, and how much they mean to our community because the opening up of of um, the possibilities of seeing these items for the very first time uh, is, is an amazing privilege. It's been a really wonderful collaboration and you know it's like having this kind of experience working with scientists, working with museum curators who, who know what they're doing um, but also having the mutual respect given back is uh, refreshing to be honest with you. Um, uh, the last few years I've been dealing with some challenges and I've had other wonderful collaborations but to have this kind of open collaboration saying hey here's what we got what do you think how do we work together how can we learn